Hi, I'm Margaret Martin at Melio Guide, physiotherapist. I would like today to share with you um, an exercise that is a great progression from doing isometric butt squeezes, where you're just tightening from standing in space, um, sitting, anything like that, because you want to take that tightening into this next exercise. So a lot of my clients who don't love um, laying on their tummy, um, where you, which it would make it a great exercise because that's where you have maximal resistance, more gravity, um, choose to do this exercise in standing. So this is um, one that I want to share with you and them. You want to have a surface, it could be your countertop, it could be um, a dresser, um, something that is roughly about the height of your belly button. That allows you to have good support through your arms. The next thing you want to do with this exercise is to hinge from your hips, which means we're bending forward, but the back is staying nice and straight. And that's because hip extension, the ability to lift your leg behind you, a pure hip extension is only about 15 degrees. So if we want to get more movement, we need to bring the body forward so that we can take advantage of those degrees and then the extra 15 degrees. So I'm going to come down here so I can have some nice support. The leg that you're standing on should have a nice soft bend. The leg that you again are standing on should you should be aware of how you're distributing the weight. So nice weight distribution at the base of your big toe and fifth toe and the center of your heel then you are able to lift the other leg off. You take your breath in and exhale as you kick the leg behind you and then inhale back down. You'll notice that I'm just barely lifting my leg slightly past the line. If I had an imaginary line drawn from my body. Now you'll see people kick it way high up. And if I kicked it way high up, then all that extension is not coming from my hip joint anymore. It's coming from my spine. And that might be fine when you're 25. But when you get to be 55 and 65 and older, your joints don't appreciate it anymore. And if they are not yelling at you yet, they will eventually. So why? you know, cause problems when trying to help yourself. So again, this focuses on strengthening the gluteus maximus muscle, which is our strong hip extensor. You want to, you know, even if you did that in standing a few degrees and tightening, you want to go, oh, I can tighten. And I'm thinking of tightening every single fiber as I do that. And then incorporating your breath and your alignment into the exercise so that it's helping all other parts of you. So that's it for the standing hip extension exercise. I'm Margaret and if you liked today's video um, and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss future videos, that's what the notification button's for. And if you click below in the description box, you'll find out more about my books and videos.